I went to five of the UK's leading supermarkets to see who's got the healthiest vegan turkey alternative. Of course, I'm not claiming these to be health foods. If you want to be ultra healthy, I'd stick to the whole plant foods as they come from nature. But still, I think a lot of these are healthier than the flesh-based, murder-based alternatives. In fifth place, we've got Aldi's plant menu. No turkey crown with a cranberry and chestnut stuffing. Looks great. So ingredients wise, the first really bad thing that stands out to me would be the carrageenan, which is a known gut microbiome disruptor. Coconut oil, that drives the risk for heart disease, worse than beef fat. Um, however, there's not a whole lot of it in here, but it's something I avoid point blank just to be safe personally. I don't want to be dying of heart disease. Thank you very much. Of course, there's added salt, added sugars. It's going to be, you know, in all of these. But not much other than that that really is a sort of red flag for me. Per 100 grams, you're looking at 214 calories. 12 grams of fat, which is pretty high per 100 grams. 2.9 grams of saturates, which is sort of moderate for these types of products. 4.6 grams of sugars. Now that's not good. I think that was the worst one of the bunch. Um, not all of that is gonna be refined sugar, however, because you've got cranberries and things in there. So you need to put that in mind. Protein 8.6 was one of the higher protein. But if you look at the protein versus fat ratio, you know, there's more fat than protein, so from a health and from a physique point of view, you know, I, I like to see the protein higher than the fat. And salt 1.3, this was the highest in salt. You know, some experts say that salt is the single biggest thing that we should probably drop out of the diet or, or minimize, you know, and there'd be a lot more humans walking there, <laughs> walking the earth. In fourth place, we've got OMV, deliciously vegan, no turkey crown. I think this is Asda's own brand. Correct me in the comments if I've got that wrong. Um, so ingredients wise, you know, again, refined like white flour, you know, same old thing. There's going to be salt. There's going to be a bit of refined sugars. Uh, but the first thing that really stands out to me as a red flag is palm oil. Palm oil, like coconut oil, you know, it's long, very long chain drug. This way that drives heart disease like animal products do. So again, there's not a whole lot of it in here if you only eat a bit and the dose makes a poison, but it's just something that I avoid point blank because why risk it? Number one killer of humans is heart disease. Emulsifiers, not good for the gut microbiome. Carrageenan, again. Flavoring, what is that? If it was something not terribly bad, it would tell you exactly what type of flavoring. So that's that's a bit of a red flag. Coconut oil, glucose syrup. Again, like they're towards the end of the ingredients there. So they, you can bet there's next to none of those, or you know, very little of those in there. So, you know, it's not such a concern as, as they come down in the list. So per 100 grams, you're looking at 231 calories, 14 grams of fat, so the most fat of any of these products, and 4.7 grams of saturates, which is the most saturates. So not great for the old ticker. Only 0.8 grams of sugars, 5.3 grams of fiber, which was sort of not too bad for this type of product. 7.5 grams of protein, which is quite high. But again, the protein to fat ratio is horrible. 0.9 of a gram of fat. This was joint second in terms of the most um, salt. In third place, we've got Morrison's Plant Revolution No Turkey Roast. So this is wheat, soy, and pea protein based, and it's got parsley and sage melt. So it's got this sort of butter alternative. A cup, two or three of these had this butter alternative thing on the top, and, and you kind of add it in during the cooking process. So if you wanted it to be leaner and better for heart health, you know, you could omit that. You would want to put some foil on, you know, part way through the cooking process so it doesn't burn on the outside. Um, but you know, that'd be one way to make them you know, far healthier. So ingredients wise, the first thing that really pops out is the palm kernel oil. So like palm oil, which comes from the fruit, this palm kernel oil from the same plant, it comes from the seed. Uh, it's those long and very long chain triglycerides again, which like animal fats drive heart disease. So again, there's not a whole lot in there if you're having a small dose, you know, a small amount, the dose makes a poison, but I just swerve it. Like, why take the risk, I think. Maltodextrin, so another type of sugar. Of course, got salt, like they all have. Um, emulsifiers, we don't really want to be adding in. So per 100 grams, 216 calories for 12 grams of fat. So that's on the high end. Interestingly, of which saturates 1.3. So although it's got 
a lot of fat, it's minimal, it's got the least of the saturates, so it's more heart healthy. Only half a gram of sugar, so that's better. Lower in fiber though, 3.2 grams, and protein is quite low at 5.9. So, despite what I said earlier about some benefits, if you need to eat twice as much of it, because proteins are concerned, then you're getting more of the negatives. So you've got to take that into account. 0.8 of a gram of salt was about the least in these products, but it is, you know, it's still high. And at number two this week, we've got Tesco Plant Chef No Turkey Crown Herb and Onion Stuffing. This one is broad bean flour and pea protein based. Palm oil again, obviously salt, we're gonna expect. It's got that carrageenan, coconut fat, AKA coconut oil, dry glucose syrup. But again, like these are towards the end of the ingredients, so probably, there's not a whole lot which will be reflective in the nutritional information here. So per 100 grams, 218 calories, 13 grams of fat, so up the high end again, 4.1 saturates, which was higher than the average. 0.8 of a gram of sugar, so that's very good. 6.4 grams of fiber, which is pretty good. 7.7 .7 grams of protein, which is kind of the, the higher end there. But again, 0.9 grams of salt. And in first place, Sainsbury's No Turkey Crown with Sage and Onion Melts. Taste the difference. Again, you can swerve the melts if you want to make it a lot healthier. And a lot less tasty, probably. So, coconut milk. Normally, you know, I swerve coconut milk because, again, it's got the saturates, the long, very long chain, and maybe some of those are kind of cleaved from their fibre bonds. Um, but you'll see that the sat total sat fat's pretty low, so probably, again, the dose makes the poison. Maybe that's not a worry in this case. Oh, sustainable palm oil. So that's apparently a load of old nonsense. The palm oil industry uh, is self-regulating and apparently all they need to do is to say that within the next 10 years, they're working to make it sustainable. So I won't fall for that nonsense. Coconut oil again, palm oil again. <laughs> You know, it is lower amounts because the next ingredient is salt and you know, there's not gonna be kilos of like salt in there. Sulfites, sulfites. So, you know, they are not great for gut health. And that was the first one with sulfite. So, and it's got those emulsifiers. But despite that, I think on aggregate, I'd put this in first place as possibly the healthiest and the best in terms of uh, the effect on your physique. To be honest, it was quite hard to, to make the call between the five. Like they're not all that different, really. They've all got their kind of pros and cons and they're not they're not a million miles apart from each other. So if you've got to travel a million miles to get to say Tesco, but LD's around the corner and it's just so much easier for you, like I probably wouldn't worry too much. Of course, these are not health foods, but if you had a massive plate of veggies, you know, and potatoes and things with this, you know, it's gonna be offsetting some of the harm to some degree. And it's what you do by and large day to day that is the important thing. So do with that what you will. If you want to optimize your health and body shape or sports performance, head on over to henshubbervore.com where I offer meal plans, consults, and coaching. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.